Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. Today I'm gonna to share with you just a few of my favorite kitchen gadgets. If you're new here, I do what's for dinner videos every single Friday. I do grocery hauls. I do a lot of content that has to do with the kitchen. And I did a request on Instagram for videos that you guys would like to see. And overwhelmingly, I got this one a lot. So I thought I would go ahead and film this now and show you some of my favorite kitchen gadgets. The first kitchen gadget I want to mention is the one I probably get the most questions about here on my channel when I'm using it in my what's for dinners, and that is my veggie chopper. I ordered this on Amazon probably almost three years ago, and I've been using it almost every single time that I cook, and it has not worn out. It hasn't messed up at all. It goes in the dishwasher. Every single piece of it goes in the dishwasher after I'm done using it, so it's really easy to clean. I love that it has two different uh, dicing options. You have like a chop option, the larger, and then you have the dicing option. And I usually use it for onions, but it can really dice up anything. I've used it for celery, um, bell peppers. There's a lot of different veggies you can use this chopper for, and it makes things a lot easier when you're really in a rush trying to get dinner together. You're not having to spend so much time chopping. Before we move on to the next one, I did want to mention that anything that I talk about in today's video is going to be linked in my Amazon storefront below. So make sure you check the description box for those links. The next thing I'd like to mention is my egg cooker. And I know this is definitely not a necessity, but if you like hard boiled eggs, if you like to make deviled eggs, this thing makes it so much easier. So I just wanted to mention it. It's definitely on the affordable side and it makes the eggs very easy to peel after they've been boiled. Not only does it hard boil your eggs, but you can also make omelets in there. It's a really easy thing to use and it's really easy to clean afterwards. The one I have does six eggs at a time, but I think they sell ones that do like a double decker and you can do t up to 12 eggs at a time. Don't quote me on that, but you can definitely look that up too. The next gadget that I love is from Pampered Chef, but they also sell other versions of this on Amazon. I've got one linked below, but it's the mix and chop from Pampered Chef. Basically, any type of meat that you have going into a skillet, in order to break it up really fine, if you use this, it makes a huge difference. I've had this gadget for years and it really does come in handy. Another gadget I use all of the time is my Pampered Chef can opener. It does the safe edges so that nothing is sharp and it really does it with minimal effort. I love it because not only does it open it up and not have any sharp edges around it, but there's also a button here on the side and this little, it looks like a little mouth. Basically, you just grab the lid with this, pull the lid right off. You don't even have to touch the lid and take it directly to the trash. I know this is Pampered Chef and that's not available on Amazon, so I've got a consultant linked below in the description box. So if you want to purchase one of these, you can do that from her. Or I have one linked in the Amazon store that's not Pampered Chef, but it's pretty comparable. The next thing is something that we use every single day in our house and it's our coffee maker. And I love it because at the time when we purchased it, it was the only one like it. I think Keurig makes one very similar now, but obviously it's a little more expensive because it has the Keurig name on it but it is the Hamilton Beach Flex Brew Coffee Maker. It does both the carafe and it does K-Cups. I've seen a lot of different coffee makers that does the carafe and then like the single side of just hot water, but not for K-Cups. So this one, you can just use any brand K-Cups, pop that in there and do a single, or you can do the entire carafe. We've been using this coffee maker for several years. We had the first edition and we upgraded to the second edition, which is a lot easier to use and it's better made, quite honestly. And we use it every single day and we love it. So if you are one that needs a pot of coffee in the morning, but maybe a pick me up in the afternoon and just a K cup, instead of having two different coffee makers, you could use just this one. Another Pampered Chef item that I use pretty much every single day are their dry measuring cups. I love them because they stack really well together. Uh, they also interlock, they're really durable. I've had them for years and not had a handle break off. They're really easy to use, they're dishwasher safe. And then I love this little leveler that comes with it. It also locks into the system, but we all know that when we're doing measurements for baking, you have to be very precise. So I love that you can just scrape this across the top and level everything out. A recent favorite of mine is this menu board that is on my refrigerator. 
Jessica from the channel Jesse Christine had shared this in one of her videos. I quickly ordered it from Amazon and I love it. I've always had a dry erase board that was very small that I'd gotten from the Target dollar spot. And while it worked, I really like this one better because there's more space to write. And it also has a notes section and a grocery list section. So I can put everything all in one place. And then before I go to the grocery store, I can just snap a picture of the items that we have in the shopping list to take along with me. Something else I love about this is that it came with eight dry erase markers and the markers have the erasers in the cap. That makes it very easy to use and they're all magnetic so they all hang on the side of my fridge. Another great set of products that we have in our kitchen that we use almost every single day are our Rubbermaid food storage containers. I really love these for lots of different reasons. These are plastic, they are BPA free, and while I would really love to have all glass food storage containers, that's just not very practical in our house at this moment. We've actually had several glass things break recently. We have tile floors, so if anything falls onto it and it's glass, it's over with. So I really like these because they are a little more durable. Another great feature to them is that they are all interlocking. So you can stack everything in together and then the lids lock onto the bottom. Before I had these, I always had problems finding the lids that would fit my containers and the lids would be kind of all over the place and that whole cabinet would just be a nightmare. But since we've had these, it makes it so simple to put away and I never have to go through this cabinet and reorganize or anything because it's all stacking together and I don't have to search for any lids. It's great. The last things I want to mention are these food storage containers that I got from Walmart. We have all heard of the OXO brand and I do have some of those and they're really great. But these Better Homes and Garden containers are more affordable and they're just as good. They make storing things like flour and sugar really easy. And one tip that I have for you is on the back of the container, you want to be sure and write the expiration date of your products. I found these adhesive labels from Dollar Tree. They are adhesive label holders. They're the Jot brand. There's 18 of them in here. And what they do is you just pull it off. It's clear. It has a little insert that you can write the expiration date on. And the back of these label holders are extremely sticky. So you just stick it onto the back of your container, write the expiration date on the little piece of paper and pencil so you can erase it when you refill it. And that way you know if your flour is out of date and you don't have to worry about that. And that wraps it up. Those are my favorite kitchen gadgets that I could think of for this video. If you have any questions about anything you've seen me use in a what's for dinner, feel free to leave those below. I have more products that I really do love that are linked in my Amazon storefront, so be sure to check that out in the description box. But I'd love to hear from y'all. What is your very favorite kitchen gadget? If you have one that I did not mention that you really love, tell us about it in the comments. If you haven't already, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button before you leave, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, y'all.